Good morning from the ranch. That's not my rooster. But anyway, uh, man, it's nice out. It is upper 40s right now, low 50s air temperature. We had a cold front come in finally, dropped us down. We have not made a video in a while uh, because it's been hot. And then uh, we had chances of rain. We did get some rain. And it was a good rain. It was a good soaking rain. It's not. It was not a runoff rain, which we need next. But the cracks are gone in the ground, so the big cracks are gone. So that was good. Exactly what we needed, actually. But you see, it wasn't a runoff rain because the pond is still pretty low down there. So. Uh, and we don't have any rain in the next 10 days in the forecast, but we have just most awesome temperatures that you can imagine. We're finally going to have a fall, it looks like, and it's going to stick around. But yeah, this morning is nice. Tomorrow morning is supposed to be uh, in the 40s again, so that's going to be awesome. But uh, yeah, things are looking up. So we got a couple of things to do today. Well, mainly one thing. Well, a couple of things, actually. Uh, of course, we'll probably have some hay buyers coming by. You never know. They'll, they'll pop in. And we'll sell some hay. Uh, we'll keep the hay fork on the tractor over here. But uh, what we got to do is uh, we're going to work on the shop today. So it starts today, a little bit later today. Uh, we got all the poles cut except for one. We got to still cut down one more of these. So they're ready to go pretty much. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start on that. Uh, what I gotta do is I need to go to the uh, hardware store. I need to get a wire brush for my angle grinder so I can brush down these plates, get them brightened up, ready for welding. We got 16 poles to put in over the next two days, which we should be able to do. I don't think it'll be a problem. Um, and uh, we'll, once I get back from the hardware store, I got a couple other things I need to get the uh, auger bit for uh, drilling holes through those wood poles down there to put the H braces in. Get that while I'm there. But uh, yeah, so as soon as, the good thing is, is that when I get back from doing all the, getting everything at store, I'm gonna bring everything out, all the, the welding equipment, everything, we're gonna get it all set up. Uh, granddaughters have a uh, cheer for uh, Pee Wee football games today. So they'll have that this morning. And then we will stop working at around 11 a.m. We'll watch the Texas A&M Aggies play. Man, they beat the crap out, well, didn't beat the crap. Well, actually, they did beat the crap out of Alabama. Uh, so, I will say that. I mean, anytime you beat Alabama, you beat the crap out of them. But, uh, yeah, they're actually more more physical in that game than Alabama, which was uh, a, a nice thing to see. Finally seeing some potential, their full potential coming to, coming to fruition. But anyway, so we're gonna watch A&M uh, play Missouri and uh we'll probably hopefully we can watch the home game the whole game uh as long as they end up playing good they don't have a down game uh so uh, if they start playing bad we'll come out here and start working get our frustrations out but yeah so we got today and tomorrow so we got plenty of time to get this done and uh but yeah we'll get all that going and then we will come back uh, uh to y'all a little bit later like i say we'll get some things then you go go uh, do a couple other things So uh, before I go to the hardware store, I need to go down here and check the bulls on on his pen fence over here, and he's he's crying. So may or might be a, somebody in heat. So we need to go check that real quick. During the rain the other night, I left that gate open uh, when I put hay out for the cows. One of them got out, came around here, you can see her footprints in the mud after the rain went looks like that way came around here went around the bell came back around here here and went right back out very well trained cows <laughs> she knew she didn't belong over here <laughs> but uh anyway so good that she was back in so that worked out i wonder if this in heat cow right left from here because I don't know who would be in heat right now. The only one I could think of would be our key K 
cow, our Kianina cow. She would be in heat right now. Well, big duchess could come into heat. Of course, you know, she's not gonna breed. She's old and, you know, we flushed her pretty hard uh, back before IVF flushing was really a, a real popular thing. Now, if you do flushing, you might as well, you better do an IVF, otherwise you screw them up with all the drugs they put in them. Uh, so let's see. I don't see nobody in heat. Unless one of those heifers is in heat. The small one, the younger ones. I see one down there. Look, deer. And another deer. Anyway. We're going to get in the truck. We're going to go to the hardware store, get a couple of things we need. And uh, come back. We will check you out here a little bit. All right, we're starting to get some stuff set up over here. We got the uh, Lincoln uh, 210 MP. We're gonna put MIG wire on it. We got MIG uh, uh, C25, so uh, argon CO2 mix for our shielding gas. We're gonna MIG wire on it. We're gonna run a 0 .035, I think. I think that's what I got. And uh, we got the generator started. That's not been started for a while, so we're trying to get some of that old gas out. Let them run. I got the uh, inverter over there. I said I'd go ahead and get it out and get it running too. Just, I'm gonna run it out of gas today. Get that old gas out. And I'm gonna get this. This is gonna run for a while. I'd like to run all the gas out of it, but it's got a lot in it. So that's three quarters of the tank. So we're gonna use it with gas today until it runs out. Then we'll switch to propane. That's actually a dual fuel. I'll uh, switch to liquid propane after that, after I get that gas ran out. I got more gas. We run, uh, we run the ethanol-free gas. We get it at Bucky's and at the uh, Quick Trip in Corsicana has it now also. So yeah, so we're gonna get stuff set up. Like I said, we're gonna have everything ready. And um, that way when it's time, we'll get out here, we'll get busy. But uh, I do wanna watch the A&M game. It starts at 11 a.m. And uh, yeah, this is our welder. So it's a power MIG, it's uh, the 210 MP. I actually have the aluminum gun for it also. This thing is pretty awesome. It'll do, do wire feed, it'll do stick. I got the stick over there. It'll do aluminum, it'll do TIG, it'll do about anything you want. So, and it's a very powerful machine, very easy to use too. That's what I like. So, you got your settings here. Of course, it's got a screen on the front that you set everything from your thickness and everything. And it'll go, it sets up a uh, default um, wire speed, amperage, and voltage. Then you can fine tune it. So, I know what we're looking at here. This is an 11 gauge. Um, so we got a 12 gauge and a 1 8 here. So we're going to get right in the middle here. So if we're looking at uh, running C25, we're running a 0 0.035. So we're going to sit right here. So we're going to do probably like a, uh, a 220 and a 17 and a half to start and see how that works. And, uh, you know, we're going to, we got some scraps over here. We're going to set up and just practice with, make sure the uh, everything's set right on the welder, that the gas is running right. Uh, I don't remember how to set the gas right now, but uh, we'll figure that out. Okay, so my dolly is my uh, tripod today because I lost my little uh, retaining nut on that tripod for the GoPro. So we're gonna use this one today. I think I got a loose cable in here. This one seems very loose. So I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see where I'm at, yeah. So we're gonna open this guy up, see what it looks like in here.
Might have been when I was pulling on that thing earlier. He like pulled out when I was pulling it out of the trailer. So we're gonna. So my goal right now is to get everything ready. Before I get a rose, I will. I gotta change shirts. I gotta put sunblock on. It is nice out. You're gonna think, oh, it's so nice. Then you get sunburn. There's our problem. Yep. So you can see right there, that one's supposed to be up there. Like this one is up there. So I need to hook that back up. That's what the problem was. Easy fix, easy peasy. Uh, so let's pull this guy out. This guy here, so that fit the has to be. There we go. So what you want to do is you want to go right through there. Your cable goes in there, and then you clamp down on it. So let's put that in there. You can't really twist these wires once you so what you gotta do is you gotta line it up. How you want it. What I'm trying to do is that my reading glasses on, so it's hard to see some things. You see right there, that cable is going a little bit in like that, so it makes it hard uh, to get the blade in there. So we need to back that off just a little bit. Everything's back in there. So that's what it should look like. Okay, and there's the other side. The blades are out. A little bit crooked on that one, but oh. So, as soon as you turn this guy up like this. If I can get this one back on there, right? Like that. So I'm using I'm using a square bit because most electrical like uh, breakers and stuff use a square bit which is more safe than using a screwdriver as far as being able to tighten something down without stripping so this right here has that in here so I'm, that's what I'm using the square bit uh, driver for so we we'll get this tightened back down and we'll Crank it back up. All right, you come on now. There it is. It's on. It's just linking it after. So that was just a cable problem, but there we go. So once we start this, it's kind of hard to see right now. Let me get some shade over here. All right. So what we gotta do is we gotta now go set everything. I need to go back to home actually. Home. And we're not doing flux core, we're doing uh, MIG steel C25, 230 volt. So we're doing that. We're good. Yeah, so we go check that. Oh, it's right here. So yeah, so that jumper is in the positive, so that's good. DC, pod, DC plus. 70% argon, 25% CO2, got it. We're running 0.035 volts. Okay, we're good. So we're good. Uh, we are running 035 wire we are running between 10 and 12. I'm gonna put it at 12, and then we'll adjust, like I said, that 17 and a half, and we'll go up to 220, or close to it. There we go. So that was right between the two, right? So that's 11 gauge, so it's 220 inch, inches per minute. 
and then we got a 17.5 volts mixed steel c25 everything's good to go so now we gotta do i think we we should be set run in that's good we're good to go so right now we're gonna do is we're gonna get the wire and we're gonna start spooling the wire on here get the tips on get everything ready to go that's what we're gonna work on and we'll run some uh, we'll run a test well here in a minute too Try to get this wire. I took one with me. That's a big spool. I'm not sure we need that much. I got two of them. What are you talking about? <laughs> By the time we do everything.